Hi loves, it's Vivian and I'm back with another sit-down video which is shocking by the way because I told you guys you would not see a sit-down video in a very long time but anyways, I'm here because we are in June and June is Acne Awareness Month just in case you are not aware, June is Acne Awareness Month so what better time to talk about my acne journey and how I kind of cleared my skin and took my skin from this to this than on the Acne Awareness Month thingy so yeah that's why this video is happening that's why you're watching this video and yeah in this video we're going to talk about them more my acne journey how i cleared my skin tips and encouragement for people see back me with acne let's get straight into it but i've always i've always i've always i would say i've always had clear skin but i've always had okay skin the one that you did not need to have a skincare routine it's good enough for you it's good enough for everybody just a disclaimer i have zero makeup on zero makeup on because i wanted this video to be as realistic as possible i can't be talking about skincare my acne journey i have makeup covering up blemishes obviously my skin is not where i would like it to be but my skin is significantly better than how it used to be so yes let's not take away from the story my i always had that okay skin good enough doesn't need a skincare routine okay we're not going to talk about my um second school days because i how i was an acne prone child because i said breaking i said having acne from like primary five and that was previously obviously so i had it like maybe throughout secondary school i cannot remember so in uni my skin was significantly okay they said that you don't need a skincare routine you break out one or two weeks but like it will go do you get that type of i'm giving guys a glimpse of how my skin was last year i had the worst acne breakout i have ever had in my life okay i was in school we've rounded up we've done our final exams final year so we had this project defense we had to do you know to round up very for a very important year level you would know how stressful that is so i said breaking out and i genuinely genuinely thought i was just breaking out due to stress you know stress also makes you break out so i didn't think too much of it but the next thing i came back home done with everything and I, I was still breaking out i was so confused and i was so lost like what was going on this was me that had clear skin in january i'll put the video that i was able in the video i was able saying oh my skin is skinning then i come back in february i'm done with school i'm resting at home so why is my skin still breaking out you guys this thing became so bad march came and this was my birthday and it was so bad that my mom was concerned like what's going on you normally don't break out like this and me too i was confused because i didn't always break out like this that's when i knew that okay it was serious so there's there, there was a time i even rubbed dermatol on my face because my mom saw facebook that i held my face was just shiny red that thing doesn't help one bit obviously it doesn't because now i have better knowledge of it so i got that was how it kept going i didn't do anything because honestly i just thought it would go away i got i started walking then and yeah i became the babe with that with acne and it was so bad in april i said my skincare routine i bought what i assumed would help so i bought this pimey um vitamin c um what else pimey vitamin c and this um the retinol i got simple facial wash i think that's that that's those are the only things i got oh and i got this conjic acid soap because that time it was everywhere on tiktok but the thing is that that conjic as the one i bought was not conjic sand you know there's conjic sand the one that is black and white so i bought another type of conjic acid soap and my face reacted to it badly i think it even made it worse so i kind of stopped using it but the damage has already been done and it was so bad it was so bad i'll be at work and i'll be I'll be, my self-esteem was zero you guys i was struggling with my self-image because i just went from a from january clear skin to this and i didn't know how to navigate it my self-esteem was shitty my self-esteem was so bad i became i just felt like i was not as pretty as i used to it's crazy what acne does to you people don't really talk about it but yeah and i remember one time at work that somebody commented this guy commented on my face like, what's going on you're always breaking like you should try and do something with i lashed out that day because you look at me and you think i'm not already feeling bad enough and you add your own to my own so i cried that night when i go nobody knew but like that's why i always tell people not to point out people that have it is not your it is not your business if they don't genuinely come to you for help i feel like you should just shut up 
Don't tell them. Don't drink water. I wash your face. You think you think I'm not drinking water? You think I'm not washing? I'm sorry because I'm just giving. A lot of Nigerians are so ignorant. They don't know their underlying condition that makes people have acne. Not that I had a condition. Mine was basically maybe hormonal. I do not know. But there are people that have PCOS. There are many medical conditions that like causes acne. So you don't think you can just come here and say whatever you want to say because you think oh she just has pimples so yeah i just kept some consistency basically because from april i said seen changes in october so from april to october if you are battling with acne i promise you patience is your best friend you have to be patient it is never a point a one to three or it is never that far so i kept on and i because the pimples left this like hyper pigmentation like darker spots on the side of my face and that's basically what i was battling with at that time and at some point i would still get one or two pimple here and there but like that was my main main target those um darker spots so polar choice helped and yeah i just kept on that routine in january i tweaked it a little bit i added cmb3 and i added a better sunscreen so basically that's what i have been doing to get, I don't think I didn't change my diet by the way. I know that, yeah, a lot of people say diet helps. No, at some point, I stopped taking milk because they were like, Oh, um, dairy, I saw it on YouTube, dairy doesn't like dairy boosts your estrogen and all of that. But I still take there's a point I stopped, but now I still take it because I'm sorry, I'm not going to give up milk. <laughs> that was basically what was going on. That's my journey, my acne journey, and I am grateful for the point I am at. I'm basic. I'm not at the point I would like to be, but obvious. I'm not at January face yet. But you can see my journey. Obviously, I am putting clips, and you can see my journey and understand that I am in a better place. I am doing better. I am keeping up with it. That was how I got my face from there to here. Basically, patient. If you if you can afford it, go to a dermatology. But at that point where I was, I wasn't thinking of about that. Basically, I was just doing try and error. And I promise you, try and error won't work for everybody. No, everybody's skin is different. Try and error was what I did doesn't mean it will work for you so if you can afford it please go to a dermatologist let them help you okay so right now i'm just going to show you guys my morning and my night skincare routine my morning skincare routine i go in with my simple facial wash then i also go in with my toner my vitamin c serum and my tm i let all this dry first before i apply each on each other then my moisturizer and my sunscreen then for my night routine, I start off with my facial cleanser, then I double cleanse with this extract cleanser. I don't know if it helps, but I use a cotton pad to double cleanse because it's night and I need to take off my sunscreen. Then on night, I need to exfoliate with toner and I also go in with my retinol and I go in with this Pons cream as my moisturizer for the night. Occasionally, I use this vitamin C moisturizer if, I'm, if I run out of my vitamin C serum. And yeah, you guys, that's my routine. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, you guys, that is my morning and my night routine. Do you know why I like my routine? It works for me and this is super affordable. I do not need to break the bank. The most expensive thing in my routine is my Polar's Choice hat because that's like, it's now 2 5 before it was 9 5 but that's the most expensive thing my serums are like 2k 3k my wash is like 3 5 i like my routine because it's affordable i like in case i go out i can easily there's no point in my time in my life that i won't have 3 5 to buy my facial wash but that is why i like my routine i don't need to bring the bank i don't need to anyways that is my routine i'm posting this routine because when i posted about my acne or my story like four people asked me for my routine so i just want to put it out there this is a wider audience tips i'll give to people that are battling with acne right now i just want to let you know that acne doesn't take away from your beauty okay it doesn't add but it doesn't take away from how beautiful you are i know it is hard i'm not going to do as if it's not hard to deal with it it is hard to deal with it but i just wanted to know that it doesn't take away it, you are beautiful don't let acne determine your self-worth or your self-esteem also set boundaries because i feel like it's when people talk about your acne that it reduces your self-esteem even without people but people sometimes ask it so set boundaries do not let people talk about you or your face in any way you you have to set boundaries so people can stop commenting nigerians don't know um that sometimes they are too much even your family can also be like 
demeaning you because of your face so it is nice if you set boundaries and tell people oh do not point this out to me i do not like it higher side is over it's nigeria they'll get over it if you can tweak your diet you should try i didn't basically do it but i know dairy product they said it's not really good and yeah the last one is patience you guys patience has to be your best friend when you're dealing with acne that's that's the only way you're going to you're going to successfully treat it and just a sidebar that acne is not curable it is treatable and can be managed because a lot of people think you get i want to clear your skin that's over no you, that is why it's a continuous journey i tell people skincare saved my life and they think i'm joking it is a continuous journey it's just like you're in a toxic relationship with your ex you can't actually go because when you go you are no longer managing the acne and there are possibilities you may flare up at any time so yeah it is a life lifelong friendship you cannot just break out of it so don't expect when your skin clear you have to also keep managing and keep do you get so yeah you guys i think these are all the points i have just to say but i am not a dermatologist or an esthetician this is what worked for me and hopefully with everyone battling with acne out there i really hope you find your groove and you hold on to it okay acne is not the end of the world just keep it so guys we've come to the end of the video and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching and yeah